In this tidbits of our property here, we are going to talk about working with file uploads. So this is one of the common scenario while I have got many questions from students like you asking how to work with the file upload dialog box in Puppeteer as well. And this is one of the new feature which was introduced and I have not added any videos on that because while we released this particular course, the Puppeteer was kind of new and this particular feature was still under development but now the feature has been fully released. There are many new classes added in the file upload area. So we are going to talk about that. So in this demonstration, we are going to talk about the file upload with this particular page. So I'm just going to take a mock page, which is already available as an example. So I'm just going to use them to perform this particular action for us. So I'm just going to choose a file, like an image file, and then I'm going to just upload that file and I'm going to see how the file upload actually works. This is going to be very, very straightforward video guys. We are going to do that. All right, so for that, I'm gonna flip to my VS Code IDE. All right, so right now I'm in my section five of the VS Code, I'm gonna create a new file, or maybe I'm just gonna duplicate this particular file, I'm just gonna paste it over here, and I'm gonna call this as file upload. And as the file upload says, we are gonna be using a different website. So uh, this is the URL that we are gonna be going through, uh, which is your pe.io. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to get rid of these guys because I'm not going to be using uh, any one of these right now. And we are going to be writing fresh from here. So the first thing for doing the file chooser is we can write like an await promise resolution, things of that nature. So I'm just going to do a file chooser. Uh, is equal to an await. So this time I'm going to introduce what is called as a promise. So we have not discussed about promise in our course. And once again, this is something related to JavaScript. So if you have familiarity with the JavaScript, you know that everything is asynchronous in JavaScript and we need to somehow resolve all the promise before we execute this particular code. So if you so what we are basically saying is all the asynchronous code must have to be completing their task before you actually can execute the next block of code. So here the promise dot all method says that all the code blocks within this particular all method must have to be executed in sequence and only then the next line of code which I'm going to be writing over here must be executed. Right. So as that said, I'm just going to go over here and then I'm going to choose the page dot. And this is the new one, which we have not discussed before. Wait for the file chooser. So this is a new method, which is kind of very, very interesting or maybe handy. And it automatically waits for file chooser window to appear, which is pretty intelligent and pretty sleek. And then I'm going to take a click operation. That's where I'm just going to click a button, which is sitting within this particular page. So I'm just going to open the Chrome browser. I'm going to paste this guy over here. Let me close this thing. Uh, so this is the XHR upload example. So I'm just going to inspect the element and you can see that the uh, button class is something like a AP uh, file input button. So this is the button that I'm going to be clicking. So basically if I click this particular button, it's going to bring me up the file chooser over here and then I'm going to choose any file from here and then I'm going to perform the file upload operation. So basically if I choose this uh, and let's say if I select the uh, Docker image so you can see that it uploads a file over here. See all the operations are being shown and the file has been uploaded and it also shows the file name. So that's exactly what we are going to be doing uh, over here as well. So the click operation I'm going to do for the class name uh, that we just saw. So I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to uh, perform the file upload operation. So where is this file upload operation actually happening? I'm going to write this line of code. So file chooser of zero because we know that uh, this particular promise is going to return as an array of value and then I can do an accept and again as we discussed in our earlier video We don't really have to do this fashion. We can probably create an array of this particular uh, variable and then I can directly do an accept of the path so here is where I can I'm gonna pass the uh, file path that uh, I'm gonna upload the file which is nothing but the file name that I'm interested in over here that's it 
So now if I just do a execution of this particular code, it is going to execute this particular code by uploading the file. Probably I'm not going to close the browser because you need to see what's really happening behind the scene. So I'm just going to leave this guy as it is. And then I'm going to uh, say file upload dot JS. So now we expect the browser to be opened and it will also, you can see that it's actually uploading the file for us guys. And the Docker one dot JPEG has been uploaded pretty insanely. So you can see that now our file upload is also working without any problem in Puppeteer. And that's amazing. It's very fast, very fluid. You don't really have to worry about how this file upload dialog box has to be performed, how the click operation is going to work and all those jazz. Everything works both in Firefox and in Chrome browser without any problem using this line of code. That's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video. Meet you in our next tidbits.